our terrific teachers and techies out there. Today I'd like to kind of double back on a previous video that I put out there about locking images on a Google Jamboard. So uh, per se, there isn't a way to lock images. And the sort of hack I showed before was to take a text box and click and drag it over uh, whatever it is you want to have in place so that students aren't moving and manipulating it. Now, doing that is possible, but the text box kind of comes in in a rectangular shape and it makes it a little bit tricky to drag and stretch out over your whole frame. So now that shapes are a part of the browser version of Google Jamboard, there's actually an easier way to do that now. So for example, I have this uh, jam uh, here, and if I want my students to complete this activity, and I don't want them to click and drag the screenshot I have here, I want them to sort of work within the parameters I give them, I can uh, use a shape here. And in this case, I prefer to use like a square. And as long as you keep the shape uh, color transparent, you can click and drag and sort of place it over um, your, your on your jam. Now, you do want to make that transparent. There you go. And you can stretch it out even further. So it kind of goes off the screen a little bit. So I will do this. And this, if you ever tried this with a text box, it is a little bit trickier to do uh, with a text box. So I'm just going to kind of go through, drag that over, and I can drag the sides. And there you go. So what will that will do now is if I want my students to complete this activity, if they are using the pointer and kind of clicking, it's not, it's actually moving the text box and I could make it bigger so they don't actually see it at all. Uh, instead of moving that uh, question I have there. And so now they can take their pen, they can take a text box, a sticky note, whatever, and complete this activity. So just another quick way uh, to do that in Jamboard using the shapes and making sure that you are picking a transparent uh, shape color.